Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Crafting and Crime Daily. Today, it's Sunday, and I do my lives on Sunday. I'm going to show you where I'm at with my um, works in progress. I want to see yours. If you have something, post it in the Crafting Journey Facebook group. Good morning, everybody. Dawn, hello, Glitter Angels. Uh, Silver Stitches is here, and oh, gosh. How is it over there in the UK today? All right, I'm just going to pull you guys up on the iPad here. So I can watch the chat. I should have done this ahead of time, but I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> you know me. All right. Where am I? YouTube. YouTube. We're on YouTube. My goodness. All right. Channel. Live. Good morning. Where is everybody today? Lisa. Oh, she's here. Good. We can start. Lisa's here. Tammy, good morning. Y'all just got notified. That's what it is, right? <laughs> or did we go to church today? The church of Chad Debo. Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> today, I will tell you who is dark and who is light. Let's see. Um... Lisa, you're light. <laughs> Got my, um, where's Mickey? Even Mickey's not here. What the heck? <laughs> Got my cup. There she is. How oh, she's here. Okay. I'm so relieved. Somebody, y'all still love me. Good, 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 good. All right. Let me plug this in so my battery doesn't die. But let me tell you what time I got to sleep this morning. This is going to sound an awful lot like my friend Mickey. So at five o'clock this morning, I'm still wide awake. Phyllis Lynn, good morning. Oh my God, Phyllis, were your ears ringing yesterday? Because I was talking about you. Yeah. I spent yesterday with the cross stitchers and I was just saying that Phyllis comes into my lives every now and then and I get to see her and she's always working. I bet you right now she's typing away. Phyllis fess up. Hey, Jen. Hi, Kathleen. Welcome. Welcome. So here's what I was working on in the, the cross stitch thing. It's going to be, it's called Starry Night Gnome. I will show you a picture of what it's going to look like when I'm done. Let's see if I can find it. You didn't do nothing wrong, Phyllis. <laughs> Except come to my live once in a while. And I was just saying that, uh, do you ever stop in there anymore? I, I don't, you know, I don't know if they've seen you in a while. Anyway, um, what was I doing? Oh, I was going to show you what that, <laughs> what that gnome's going to look like. It's super cute. Now, this was something they tried to get me involved in last year. So a lot of these girls, the stitching girls, they've already done this. <laughs> so... This is, this is what it'll look like when it's done. Oh, no, that's not it. Hold on. Let me go back. Don't touch the iPad. Yeah, there he is. That's what it'll look like when it's done. So I've got almost, I'm almost done with the whole, the hat part of it. And then the white part I've started, you just can't see it. This fabric is a really light, light blue. So yeah, well, Phyllis, your daughter was the one that did this one. And I, when she was doing it, I was like, oh, my God, I have to do that one. Phyllis says, I've seen that one. It doesn't surprise me you're doing that one. I don't cross-stitch in the norm. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so Phyllis's daughter was a couple of years ago working on this same one. And and um, that's, that's how I got the pattern. <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? I had the strangest night. Um, I'll wait a little bit, bit to talk about it, but um, oh my goodness. All right, so I'll show you the diamond painting where I'm at with that. So I have one, one strip on the bottom done, and then on the left side, I've got a whole bunch done. All right. There it is. I don't know if y'all, can y'all see it? Yeah. And I don't know if you can tell up here, I changed the knitting needles to crochet hooks. Can you see them? I did them in green. 
Anyway, they're crochet hooks now. They're not knitting needles. It's kind of hard to see them, but yep. So that's it. Now I just got to, I'm going to go set this over here. So it is not in my way. So you see some of the girls sometimes, yeah, Phyllis. Um, it was just fun sitting, chatting with them yesterday. I, I had a good time. Phyllis says, I've been working feverishly on training of dreams. Is that a diamond arc? Is that the, are you talking about the Randall Spangler one? Train of dreams. I don't remember that one. It, 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 if it's the Randall Spangler one, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Anyhow, my dog wants the door open so she can go in and out. Yesterday and the day before was so cold. It was crazy out. Hi. Hi. What's going on? So I'm going to put my cross stitch stuff back here. So I want to thread a bunch of needles for later today because I'm going to continue to work on it today. So here's my progress on the shawls. This is the one I'm going to give away. This is, I think I'm on row 28, something like that. 28. So it's gone from pink into this white. And then it'll go into the yellow and the gray. It's going to be really pretty when it's done. Here's the other one. Same thing, I think row 28 on this one. This is the one I'm giving to Crashly. Is that the front? I think this is the... I don't know which one's the front and which one's the back. I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, there, there it is. The colors on this are turning out amazing. This one is going to go into white and then yellow and orange. So cool. That's that Mandela stuff. It's really nice. So somebody is texting me. Who's texting me? Last thing in the morning. Oh, Crocs are on sale. That's who's texting me. Hi, Deborah. Hello, hello. So, last night, I am watching Bag a Day. Phyllis says, Kaya started crocheting a shawl several weeks ago. Oh, nice. Anyway, if you guys know Bag a Day, Bag a Day crochet, she just... Uh, she, she reached a million subscribers and she, so she had this big celebration last night and I was so looking forward to this and I'm watching it and she's, she's dressed up all in gold and her husband is all in gold and they've got gold hats and gold jackets and her daughter has on a little gold dress and she's showing off her, you know, million subscriber YouTube button and she's giving away tons of stuff. People donated stuff for her to give away. She's She has tons of yarn she was giving away. And everybody's like having a good time in this live. And all of a sudden, she says, I have to go. Or no, somebody walks in the room. I don't know who it was, one of her kids, because she's got five kids. Somebody walks in the room and says, the police are here. And she's like, what the fuck? And then she's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I use that word. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then she says, um, we've been swatted. The police are here. Guns drawn. I got to go. So, so she just ends the live. So I'm like, what the hell? Then uh, she comes back about 20 minutes later, maybe a half hour later, she comes back and she goes live again. And she explains that someone and she says she thinks she knows who did it but um just swatted her and they sent the police to her old house first and um then they police when they got there and nobody's answering at that house what they said was that someone was uh, stabbed and shot in the home in her home. So then the police look her up and find her real address and they go to her real address, guns drawn. And um, then they, once they cleared the house, they took her husband back to the old address so they could clear that house and make sure there was nothing going on there. But 
I mean, what a cruel thing to do. And she was so upset. She was so upset um, because it ruined her night, ruined her night. So she did. A, she took the video down um, or I would have showed it to you. But she did post today. If I can find it. She said, thanks everyone for joining my celebration live stream. I had so much fun until the end. Many police came to my house during my 1 million uh, live guns drawn and pointing because someone called in a false report. It was scary. Can you believe that? People are so cruel. And that could have, you know how that turned out here in Kansas where the guy got his house swatted. And when he walked out to see why the police were there, the police shot and killed him. Like, that's a dangerous, dangerous thing to be doing. It really, really is. And I felt so bad for her. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, and if you know Bag o Day, she's just like a regular person. She's, you know, she just likes to crochet and teach people how to crochet. And she didn't deserve that. Anyway, I just, that was a weird, weird night. Um that it was happening live like that. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> that's crazy. Anyway. Um, Eighty-one year old in Hawaii. What's in Ohio? What's what's that about? I don't know what that's about, Sue. Eighty-one year old in Ohio? I don't know what that means. Tammy says that could have turned out so different for a child to open door or that had to be a dramatic. Yeah. I don't know if her child opened the door, but I mean, God, her daughter, I think is probably about, I'm going to say she's nine or so, maybe nine or 10, but I think she's the youngest. That's crazy. This is just crazy. So I hope they catch who did it and prosecute them because that's, yeah, like I said, it's just nuts. Anyway, I'm going to be threading some needles. Well, actually, I probably shouldn't do that or I'm going to forget what's what. Or, or will I? Yeah, I will. <laughs> I'll put a bunch of thread on the needles and then I'll forget which thread is which. So I better not do that. Anyway, what is going on with you guys? Yes, we can show off the works in progress in a little while. Deborah says that's horrible. She really is a private person other than YouTube. She is. Like, if you guys know her, she really is. Like, for someone to do that is just so mean. Me just mean-spirited, you know. Look up her address. Send police. Oh, God. She said that she... So she's taking... So, so, so a few weeks off. She's not going to be on YouTube for a little while. But she does say in the post that she's going to, she's already scheduled the crochet along for the, for the Shaw's to release on the time, you know, one's on the 25th and two on the 30th. So we'll still get to do the Shaw along, but she's not going to be on YouTube for a while. So She goes, 10 years of my life, I wanted nothing but to teach crochet and for people to watch my videos. I'm kind and respectful to everyone. And for seven of the last 10 years, I have suffered the most horrific things imaginable on YouTube. Threats to my children, my husband, even threats to my dogs. Stalked by people many times. People I don't know just randomly come to my house. I love YouTube and hate it at the same time. So sad. Anyway, so she's she's going to, she'll be back. She, she just needs to get over what happened last night. It's just so sad. And she was really having a good time. Sue says, scammer, call him something about needing money for grandson, then send an Uber driver to pick up the package of, oh, yes, yes, I remember that. You were telling us about that the other day. And the Uber lady was shot to death by the 81-year-old man as she was trying to leave. Silver says, I hate people like that who prank others. Well, it's not just a prank. It's a crime. It's, you know, you, you're going to get prosecuted. The ones that did that in Kansas are all in jail. Well, they were, they had, they were sentenced to jail. They might be out by now. Who knows? But it wasn't a long jail sentence by any means. So, gosh, I don't have a lot to talk about this week. Hi, Gail. 
Good morning. All right, let's let's um let's go to the Facebook group and look and see what everybody's working on. And I before I, this thought just came into my head, so I got to go with it. <laughs> Mickey and I are are going to start rolling out who the sponsors are. You know, we're going to show you the canvases that we have picked out. We have picked out canvases for our event that starts August first. Um, they are being provided by, and I will tell you. Art and soul. And um, that's all I'm going to tell you for now about those canvases. But they will be available if you want to paint along with us. And um, you should be able to get them in time for the event. <laughs> Sue says, do you know where Crystal lives in Illinois? I didn't even know she lived in Illinois, to be honest with you, Sue. I, I don't know where she lives. Um, I and it wasn't me. I didn't send anybody to her house. I promise you. <laughs> Kathleen said they should have been prosecuted for murder. Uh, yeah. Hi, Robin. Hello, hello. Um, so anyway, we're getting ready for our event. We're going to start talking about it more, you know, getting you guys to sign up, giving you guys plenty of time to order a canvas if you need to. You can just pick something from your stash, just as long as it's like got a a creature animal on it or um and it's where you want to go so the two that we have picked out we've picked out we're going to be doing different ones and they're very unique and i think you're going to like them so but i'm not going to show them to you just yet but when i do uh the company art and soul is going to give you guys a discount code if you want to order them so that's coming up here in the next probably week or two so look forward to that. All right, let's go to, let's go to the Facebook group. Where is it? Okay, here. Rhonda, hello, hello. Okay, share screen. Facebook, we all love Facebook because TikTok is going to be banned. Do, do, do. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm glad I don't do TikTok. Because uh, the government does not like TikTok at all. All right. There's the registration form right up at the top under Feature, The Great Escape for 2024. Yep. Silver Stitches, More on Birds and Blooms by Amy Stewart. Heaven and Earth Design, Stitched 2 over 1 on 18 Count Ada. Material Pack. You know, um, Silver Stitches... If that's full coverage in your, I don't know if that, I would mark, like, I like to mark my fabric in, in grids of 10, but I see this is, it's, it is kind of marked already. That's kind of cool. It's, it's got the 10 by 10 squares on it. That's neat. I love Amy Stewart. I just, um, we have a puzzle from her that's beautiful that I might be doing next. I like her artwork. Tammy, what's Tammy up to? Every day is a new beginning, like, oh, take. Take a deep breath and start again. Yes, let's all take a moment to focus. Oh, I'm feeling this cool breeze. I have the door open, that's why. <laughs> but it felt amazing. Oh, my gosh. You're almost done with that one. You just have the corners to do. You, you can finish that today. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, who else do we have? Rhonda, what's the what is going on here with the numbers? Okay, what, what is with the numbers, my dear? You're gonna have to tell us the story behind the numbers. Here's Jessica with the flowers. This week I finished Linton Rose. I'm also working on Pegasus Constellation tonight. My son is going to start his first diamond painting. Hogwarts Express. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh my God. Who put that out? That is so adorable. Oh, Diamond Dots. What a cute first diamond painting. How old is he? gosh i want to see that one it's done and i love this floral one that's beautiful let's just see there's another there's the floral one and oh wow i would so bling the heck out of this thing oh my gosh 
She needs gold tipped wings. And, oh, she's pretty. Very, very pretty. Good work, Jessica. All right. What else? What else? Ali, Alia, I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Al Alana. I'm just going to go with Alana. But <laughs> anyway, I've been working on this seven painting of my Lord and Redeemer on and off for a few months. I replaced all of the drills around his halo with ABs and a stained glass background with crystals, hoping to finish it in about a month. As I'm also crocheting and organizing my yarn. Oh, hey, I'm right there with you. <laughs> I can commiserate. Look how gorgeous that is. You know, this is how I picture Jesus with the gorgeous flowing blonde, golden blonde hair, and the full facial hair. You know, this is sexy Jesus. Yes, we I, I can appreciate that. <laughs> I hope I'm not, not offending anybody. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Mickey just sent me a thing from Art and Soul. Let's take a look. What is it? What is it, Mickey? Look at this adorable diamond painting from Art and Soul. It's so you. Oh, my gosh. How cute is that? If it's a snack size, I might get that. That's adorable. I'm trying to figure out what is going on with. Oh, it's a pillow. Okay, there's a pillow behind him. I couldn't think. What... I couldn't figure out what that object was. He's got some big old feet, though, doesn't he? Holy moly. <laughs> Joanne's going to go, no more gnomes. Stop with the gnomes. I know. Okay. New members, Georgina Ellis, Kathleen, Dawn McCurley, Hellickson, and Meta, uh, Meta AI. Okay. We have an, a, a bot in here. Good. Good, good, good. He's practicing for the Great Escape 2024 event. Oh, dear. <laughs> He's escaping. Let's watch. Oh, how funny. Let me in. I want to go see my buddies. They're on the other side. Aw. <laughs> That's adorable. Who posted that? Who posted that? Rhonda. Oh, my God. Rhonda, that's hilarious. There's Rochelle's. Let's take a look. This is for her Dakota thon. Rochelle is queen of the blings. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. DAC Libra. Look at that sword. Silver and gold ABs. Oh my God. That is to die for. The butterfly. Wow. That's amazing. All right. Let's get out of here. Let me know if you've posted um, and I can come back here or refresh and go back to the top. There's Sue. I don't know if this was this from this week. That was from last week. Okay. We need Sue's latest. The latest, greatest from Sue. All right, let's refresh. See who else we got here. Berta, Berta's working and lurking. This one is one of the old Mandy Manzanos that if you wanted to buy one of these on eBay, it would cost you probably about $400 because they are... Um, in demand. Beautiful. Gorgeous, honey. Look at this one. Oh, with the bear. That could be your great escape canvas. That would be a great one for the great escape. Yep. Oh, she's got some uh, release papers there. I can't see which ones she bought. Cute. Oh, she's got, is that Mrs. Coffee? Written? No, what is that? That's Okay, I'm looking. Oh, the Dakota thon. Okay. <laughs> looking at it upside down. <laughs> yeah, this would be a perfect one for the Great Escape. That's the kind of thing I had in mind that Mickey and I had in mind, where you have the creature in here and you've got 
someplace you'd like to escape to, you know, out in the woods. I don't see Berta camping, but okay, we'll roll with it. <laughs> Who else is posted? This is from Rhonda. That's a cool picture. Lots of oranges in that. 98 colors. Oh, girlfriend. Mm, better you than me. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Oh, yours looks the same, Sue. Okay. So is Rhonda going to... Uh, the numbers on her canvas is the sections I work on so I can track number of colors. What? So I can track the number of colors. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but okay. You could have beautiful frog booby papers on there and you choose to have numbers. I'll, okay. By the way, my button says, I am magical. Let me show it to you. I am magical. Yep, that's me. All right, let me put this back on here. Whoops. Yeah, I can't even put a button on. Good Lord. I'm going to turn it into a cover binder. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, it's behind the microphone. That's why you can't see it. There we go. Move the microphone. Your frog boobies haven't come yet. You did. You ordered some. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. What's Phyllis got to say here? She says, stuff posted on eBay has become ridiculously priced, in my opinion. I'm glad you never resorted to that site to find good things. My sister did for clothes for grandkids. Um, I go to that site, YouTube or uh, eBay a lot, but you have to be, you have to know what you're looking for. You have to know how to find a good deal. Um, yeah. It's still, it's still a good place to shop. But like I said, I, those old Mandy's are worth a fortune. Like if you've got some in your inventory and you need some quick cash, just, you know, list them on eBay. Yeah. Tammy says, Rhonda, this comment will tell you what I learned. I saw your kid up on spirit. I saw your kid up on spirit. I don't know what that means. Am I out of it today? What's What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. It was something I was going to tell you guys, and now it slipped my mind. Oh, how can I forget? The most amazing thing happened this weekend. Friday, actually. Taylor Swift dropped another album, a double album. So I've been listening to the songs as they release. That's a really good album. It really is. Her singing has become so mature. You know, it's not the cheerleader stuff anymore. It's really, it's, she's, she's doing some really good work. Anyway, Silver Sister says, my Mandy's are mine. I would have to be in dire straits to sell them. There you go. I wasn't into those, you know, when they back when back in the day when they were coming out. It wasn't my thing. It really wasn't. But they were like six feet tall. <laughs> it was huge. I know that um, Tia painted one that turned out amazing. It was gorgeous. Um, it, it was beautiful. Hold on one second. I gotta blow my nose. <sighs> Okay, I'm back. Uh, Ron, I'm, I've got to go to Rhonda's channel and check out what she's got on going over there. I do. Phyllis says, Mandy's stuff has never been my thing. I mean, I've done a couple of Mandy's. I did Shepherd's Cottage. Where, I don't even know where that is. Um, and I did uh, Worlds Away, which is my favorite one of my favorite paintings that was the first big one that i did back in the day when i started diamond painting that was a big painting now it, that people would probably consider that small but that was for me that was a big painting so i think those are the only two that i've done for mandy i think yeah 
I'm trying to, oh yeah, no, Alice, this Alice one is a Mandy. I, I knew that one of my Alice's was a Mandy. I don't know what they call that one, but it was a really pretty one with Alice in Wonderland and she's looking up at the clock and the tower. Really pretty. That one is right over there. You can't see it. There's Berta. Hey, everyone. I own all the panels and most of her older ones. Wow. Berta is rich in diamond paintings. I think Tia does too. <laughs> Tia's got, if you, someday we're all going to go shopping in Tia's stash because we just want to see what's in there, right? The problem was Disney got involved. Oh. You know what? I'm not surprised. Not surprised. You know, Disney owns everything now. <laughs> if there's a cartoon out, Disney probably owns it. Oh, Tammy, we you could talk about. Yes, if you have a YouTube channel, you you do not have to ask me if you want to. If something is going on and you want to promote it, it is nice to ask me beforehand. But I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to get upset with you if you mention your YouTube channel, and unless you do it every five seconds. But then, yeah. Oh, Wolfpack might have a few too. She might, she might. Bird of Stash would be fun to see. Yes. <laughs> so we need to go shopping in Bird of Stash and we need to go shopping in Tia's Stash. Where is Tia this morning? I am feeling Tia must have had a hot date last night because... I'm not seeing her here. Last night, I invited her to come into the cross stitch group and talk to us, and I didn't get a response. So I have a feeling she may be, she may be, she might have had a date. I don't know. She's killing it with the dates, you know. My goodness. <sighs> All right, more coffee. I didn't, like I said, I was up till five in the morning. Stitches out in the yard, stalking something. What is he doing? He's so funny. He just makes himself at home in the neighbor's yard, you know. Yep. Oh, I know. Terrible. Oh my gosh. So. What is what are we doing this week? What's going on this week with everybody? Tia was on someone else's YouTube live late last night. Oh, who who who, <laughs> who had a live late last? I don't do Saturday night YouTube lives normally. I mean, normally Saturday nights I'm just doing my own thing. Saturdays I usually take off YouTube, but I knew that Bag of Day was having that special with all the giveaways and you know and. And I've been following her channel for like five years and I wanted to, oh, Nix. Oh my God, Nix. <laughs> that woman can do a live. Holy moly. She'll go live for six, seven hours. You know, it's crazy. Just crazy. But I'm not selling nothing. So I am not doing no live that lasts longer than an hour and a half. An hour and a half is my limit. Sometimes 30 minutes is my limit. But just saying. Do y'all want a, uh, do y'all want a, um, yeah, Timo goes live late on Fridays. I know that. Nix has a ferret. Oh my God. Then I have to watch her. <laughs> now I can't I can't with the, the long lives. I just I can't. No, I don't that's chunks of your life you're never gonna get back. Silver Stitches has to go to the doctor this week. Oh yeah, no thanks. I Just watch. Oh, what is she doing? I'm just trying to figure out what this neighbor was doing. Anyway, I live in a weird neighborhood. So what was I? Th oh, I don't I can't even think today. Oh, my God. The ideas are flying in and out of my head. This is what happens when you take a gummy at like five in the morning. Yeah, the THC is still there, apparently. So I'll just be talking about anything and everything and munching as I go. I wanted to go to one of the games, either, you know, Friday or Saturday, this past Friday or Saturday, but it was so cold outside. 
gummies. Yeah, I use, I use gummies to get to sleep at night, Sue. And last night, the first one didn't work. Um, they're they're pretty benign. These gummies they they have such a low amount of THC that it's negligible. But the one that I'm just, that my sister just bought for me, it's got. It has THC, but it also has melatonin in it. So where's the Great Escape Google form? It is in the Crafting Journey Facebook group. It's under featured. That's where it should be, Rhonda. Let me know if that's not there. Rhonda, you have more than one. D dip is not your only ferret. I thought you just had one. Jenny is traveling to Western New York to see her daughter graduate from cosmetology school. Oh, nice. Is that a far drive? Huh. So I'm scrolling Facebook. Was it last night? Yeah, last night. And there's prom pictures of Malia. So I called my son this morning. I'm like, excuse me? You didn't tell me that my granddaughter was going to the prom and come get me and I could have helped her do her hair and hello. <laughs> I don't know. They just forget I exist sometimes, I guess. I'll see if I can find a picture of her. God, you guys, she's grown up. I, I don't know if you remember what she used to look like. Let's see. Oh, Don. Where, where is... Here we go. She is so beautiful. Look how gorgeous she is now. She's in the lighter pink dress. Isn't she beautiful? And I wasn't there, daggummit. I'm so mad at him for not telling me. Now her stepmom was there, so, you know. Look how beautiful she is. Let me a child got boobs overnight. Boobs. Like, when the hell did that happen? <laughs> Remember when she was just, she would just sit here with her ice cream and she was like 13 years old and she would come help grandma. Now, you know, grandma's an afterthought. Did you find the, the, the form, Rhonda? Just she was looking for the form. I hope she found it. Some kids nowadays do not put out all the effort into prom like we knew at one point. Uh, I know. Well, apparently, you know, she has never, her real mom has never really had a relationship with her. Like she would go visit her sometimes over the summer, but she doesn't like, she doesn't send her presents for her birthday. She doesn't call. She doesn't write. She doesn't do smoke signals. Um, so last night, apparently, when she was getting ready for the prom, she, I don't know if she called her mom or texted her or whatever. She's like, don't you even want to see what I look like? And so she got her mom on the phone and was talking to all of her old relatives. And they're like, who are you? And so she, she was kind of de depressed about that. And then... She goes over to her friend's house to, they were going to redo their hair or something. And she burned her hand and the friend's mom came in and made a smart remark about, this is why you get your moms to do it. And so she, so that just set her off. So I don't know that she was having a great time at the prom because she was really upset about what this woman had said. Like how, you know, this girl doesn't have a mom. Why are you saying stuff like that? You know, and that used to bother me when I was growing up. Cause I, when I was in middle school and high school, I lived with my, with my dad. My parents split up. I lived with my dad. I didn't have a mom around to help me pick out prom dresses and um, do my hair. And so I know what that feels like, but yeah, sad. So she came home early and then my son talked to her for a little while. Hopefully she doesn't watch this channel anymore. She used to, but she doesn't. 
Um, I do care about her, Sue, and I'm going to give her a call and see if she wants to like get together or, you know, cause, but she's got a job and she's got friends and, you know, grandma's grandma and, you know, but I just need to call her and let her know I love her and that I wish I could have seen her in her dress and stuff. Oh, well, I would have helped her pick out the dress. That would have been fun. Yeah. Yeah. My grandson he won't even talk to his mom he doesn't talk to her he hasn't talked to her in years years and years and years but he you know he's older he remembers what she was like when she was around all the time so anyway people can be so hateful and inconsiderate yeah i know i know and she probably wasn't thinking i'm sure she it wasn't mean-spirited in any way but Sometimes you just got to watch what comes out of your mouth. You like filter because not everybody comes from a loving, you know, mom, dad home, especially. Well, I didn't. And that was how many years ago? 20, <laughs> 20. We'll go with 20. <laughs> Phyllis says, I didn't care about the prom. I worked at my BFFs prom. Well, funny about the prom when i went to high school in orlando so our proms were always at disney world and um i remember going to at least one of the you know because they're supposed to be for juniors and seniors but you know we all go so there i know i, I went to at least one then I, but i want to say my senior year something happened and i didn't go i don't remember what happened yeah, I, I don't remember what happened, but I didn't go to the prom. But prom was always really fun. Really fun. Because it was always at Disney World, you know. I want to see Mickey in her prom dress. Mickey, <laughs> let's see pictures of you. <gasps> she never went to a prom. What? All right. We have to do a crafting prom night. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to plan this. We're going to do a prom night. Y'all going to post pictures of yourself dressed up as going to the prom. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're in for prom night. <laughs> I don't want to go buy a dress. <laughs> they were always at your high school gym. Yeah. Like, like in the movie Carrie or something, you know, <laughs> what's that movie where she, where she's at the prom. Is that Carrie? What's no, that's some other movie. I don't like, I don't know my horror movie genre. I'm not a horror movie person, but the one where she goes to the prom and anyway, uh, y'all will know. I don't. Tammy couldn't afford it. I remember, you know, 20 years ago when I went to the prom the one time <laughs> I bought a prom dress. My dad sent me with his credit card to go buy a prom dress and I spent $45 and he was, he was like, you did what? You spent how much? Like $45 back then was a big deal. Oh, it was Carrie. Okay. I was right. Okay. Footloose. Oh my God. Everybody cut, everybody cut footloose. Oh, that was a hell of a prom, wasn't it? Deborah says, I have two daughters and both went at least three years. Each year was a big deal, even for my husband. Yeah, you got to take pictures, you got to, you know, <laughs> invite grandma. Don't forget to invite grandma to prom pictures. You know, I would have shown up with brownies or something and yeah. And my camera. <laughs> I'm so upset I missed it. I don't even remember my grandsons going to the prom. I bet you they didn't. Knowing my grandsons, they probably did not go because they're not big on that kind of thing. So I'm betting they didn't go. So who wants game night? Y'all want a game night tonight? What do we want to do on game night tonight? Let me know. Do you want Pal World? Do we want to go back to Pal World <laughs> and watch me die? Or... <laughs> Do you want Zelda or let me know what you want. Do you want me to look, find something new? I I can't purchase anything new because payday is Wednesday. So, but <laughs> where's Joanne? Speaking of Joanne, Joanne, where are y'all? Um, she must have slept in. Yep. 
decorations were done on a budget. Yeah, I remember those days. You could have done her hair and makeup, let her know. If no man, there was always grandma. Well, her stepmom was there, Christine, the one my son is divorcing, you know, that's not her real mother, but, you know, she's essentially grown up with Christine as being her mom. So Christine was there. Um, but for Malia, it's not the same as her real mom. So anyway, my eye itches. Oh my God, I cannot take a nap because if I take a nap, I'm going to be up all night again. How do you break the cycle? Oh my gosh. I got to force myself to stay awake all day. Silver says, I had sort of a prom. It was a dinner where the teachers served us and a dance, but it was not a prom. So is that not a thing in the UK? Do they do the whole prom thing in over there? Is that is that a thing? Where you get dressed up and the guy comes and he brings you a flower and he does you know, he doesn't know how to put it on because you're wearing something strapless and um, I am her real grandma. That's not to, you can't deny that because the girl looks like me. Now they do, but not when you were in school. Oh, okay. So it's kind of filtered over to the UK. All right. Go ride the bike. You know what? That's a great idea, Phyllis. I need to, I'll just go for a ride. I, I need to, I need to do that. All right. Thank you. Um, that's a great idea. If we did have sort of a prom, no one would have invited you. Don't say that. Yes, just take yourself, girl. You don't have to have an invite. <laughs> just just go. Prom is for high school graduation here. Junior high does a semi-formal celebration. Oh, okay. Yeah, proms are usually, there's usually a junior prom and a senior prom. At least that's where, when I was in I went, there was 600 plus people in my graduating class. I went to a huge high school in Orlando. So there was a prom for the juniors and a prom for the seniors. And yeah, Phyllis says, I can't take naps or I can't sleep through the night. Well, I, yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to have to start cutting my nap out because I was, I'm not usually like that. You can ask Mickey. I usually sleep pretty well, you know, and I'm usually up and trying to talk to her first thing in the morning. But uh, this morning, man, 10 o'clock, I was still in bed looking at prom pictures of my granddaughter. <laughs> Is that a thing in Canada? Do they do proms in Canada? Eric didn't go to his prom. We had a special day and night for, with family. Oh, so I guess they do, they, they do proms in Canada. Okay. I'm trying to think. I have... I have a little like wine glass. It was like this prom souvenir. I think I still have that. I think I do. I'm trying to think what the theme was because we, we had a theme. I was on the committee, you know, I was planning the prom. I'm trying to think what the theme was. We had a theme. Yeah. But like a boy didn't ask me. I, like, I just went. <laughs> I'm like silver stitches. Nobody would ask me. I was, I don't know. I was the tall gangly girl in high school, you know. Oh, there goes that girl who's six feet tall. Well, I wasn't six feet tall, but I was taller than a lot of people in high school. I can tell you that. But I remember in high school, I was... I was a baton twirler and I would, on the weekends, I would go to competitions all over the place. And I would, I drove myself. I made my own costumes. I didn't have a mom that was there to help me, you know, make these gorgeous, fancy costumes. Mine were pretty basic. Um, I didn't have a mom, you know, to do my hair and, so I kind of tried to do it myself or I, I nudged somebody else's mom to see if they would do my hair. But I remember, I know what Malia's going through. I really do. Sue says you couldn't go here without a date. Oh, really? Interesting. 
you know, I don't remember if that was a thing back then. I don't. I, I, I know it was like a big deal. Oh, did anybody ask you to the prom? No. Maybe I did have a prom. I seems to me like I did have a prom date, but it wasn't somebody I was enamored with. You know, it was just like, so I could go to the prom. <laughs> I don't think I went by myself, to be honest with you. Now that, but I can't remember the guy. Like he does, it doesn't even stick out in my head. It was somebody that, one of those guys that likes you and you're like, eh, no, <laughs> I don't like you, but I'll go to the prom with you. <laughs> right. Without dates was unheard of back in the seventies and the eighties. Yeah. So yeah. Did we decide which, yes, we have decided which canvases we are doing for the great escape and they will be revealed probably in the next week or so um, they're coming from a company called art and soul. They are, they are providing the canvas. They're going to provide a discount code if you want to paint along. So once we reveal those and give you the code, you can go to the site, you can start ordering them. If you want to paint along with this, you don't have to, it's not a requirement, um, but you can, if you want. Going stag just wasn't a thing. I know, I know. But I was like, I didn't have a steady boyfriend in high school. I, I dated around. You know, I had a lot of different boyfriends. <laughs> there was these two guys, that I, Farmer Ted and some other, I think, yeah, Farmer and Ted, or maybe it was Farmer Ted. There was two guys, and they were like my best friends. And the three of us just hung out all the time. And, and they were so much fun to hang out with. They really were. But they, we weren't like romantically, they were just like my best friends in high school. I had one female best friend and two male best friends. And the two male ones, that we, the three of us would hang out on the weekend and we, you know, go out in their trucks. And because when I went to high school in Orlando, we lived in like rural Orlando. Um, so a fun evening for us would be to go out with your trucks into the orange groves and put on some loud music and hang out. That was a, a great time back then. Rhonda says, oh, I just received Art and Soul canvases. They had a surprise sale. Oh, they did? Uh-oh. I must have missed it. Well, they're going to offer us a discount code. And we've got tons of other sponsors, too, so that are donating prizes and things like that. It's going to be a, it's going to be a fun event. And I don't, you know, Mickey and I don't do events as often as we used to, so... We're making this into a huge big deal. Just saying. So if you guys know people that maybe aren't in my little circle here and you, you want to tell them about it, please feel free to spread the word because I think their diving painting channels are a dime a dozen these days. So just spread the word. Rhonda says, I got a huge hummingbird. For oh, how cute. Hummingbird. I'll bet that's going to be beautiful. Silver says, my parents went to different schools. They did not meet until they were on a bus going to work. Oh, I met my first husband at my one of my first jobs. I was a police dispatcher and he was a cop. That's how I met him. We actually met at a wedding. <laughs> We, we went to this wedding and he was actually, he had brought a date to the wedding and I ended up flirting with him during the whole wedding, you know, the reception and everything. I just went to the wedding by myself. So at the reception, he's sitting there talking to me and we're dancing and we're having a good time and this, and he's ignoring his date. <laughs> I felt so bad for her. And um, so apparently he had he had to give her a ride home because he, he they went together as as you know a date. So he when he takes her home, she starts bitching about me. So so he stops the car and lets her out, and makes her walk home. <laughs> so mean, so mean. Anyway, in less than a year, we were married. So yeah. met him at a wedding, not on a bus. Have you ever met a guy on a bus? No, not me. I did have to ride the bus a lot during school. Even in high school, I rode the bus a lot until I got a car in my junior year, I think. I think in my junior year, I got a car. 
My dad gave me the most horrendous car. I cried when I saw it. I'm like, oh my God, where did you find that, dad? It was horrible. It was called an opal. You remember the opals? I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. Let me see if I can find a picture of an opal. Obviously, they don't make them anymore. Crashly was supposed to release some of my work today, yesterday, actually, and she did not. Okay. Maybe today. I don't know. She's been promising me since Friday she was going to release some stuff. Oh, my God. There's Tia. Tia, how are you, sweetie? I was guessing you had a hot date. You slept in, right? Did you have a hot date? Please, can we live vicariously through you? Opal car. Let's see what it looked like. See, now I, there's list of Opal vehicles. They still make them. Former production vehicles. Let's see which one. I don't remember which one it was of these. It was the ugliest car ever, though. I don't know. It looked like it, it looked like someone had set it on fire and then put the fire out. Like the paint was all bubbly and cracking on this. I'm like, Dad, you expect me to drive this to school every day? Yeah, what's wrong with it? <laughs> this is what happens when you live with your father. You get what you get. Oh my God, somebody's screeching their tires out there. Uh oh, she's she's not she's not admitting to anything. She's she's gone silent on us. <laughs> Silver says, "I wish I could write a story based on how my grandparents met. It is somewhat shocking and funny at the same time." You should, well, you should. You're a writer. Hi, one crack mom. How are you? Our twelve o'clock crew is on the way in. Hello, hello. If you're just joining us. Nice to have you. I don't know if you were here at the top of the show, but I um. You were with Nix. I had my crafting with kids yesterday. Took care. Took them to the beach. Never again. Oh God. <laughs> oh, you're fun with that. Tia, I invited you into the stitchy group last night because we were we were cross stitching. So this is what I'm cross stitching here, right now. I'm still working on the moose, but this is a Starry Night gnome. So. That is where I'm at with that. But last night I was in Bag o Day's live, Bag o Day crochet, when she got swatted in the middle of her live. She was celebrating her one millionth subscriber and she was doing tons of giveaways and everybody's having a good time. And all of a sudden the police are there with guns drawn and she took the video down, but um, she, she got swatted. And she's pretty upset about it. I don't blame her. Oh, my God. She was really, really upset. So, Tia, where is there a beach in in Vegas? <laughs> I'm sorry. What beach did you take them to? Like, did you drive all the way to California? Where? I'm not understanding beach in terms of, like, a fake beach. I have to hear this. <laughs> Tia, don't turn into the babysitter. Like someplace mom and dad are dropping those kids off with you on Saturdays and uh, you're watching them. Yeah. She's not, she's not talking. She's tired. <laughs> Ake Beach, Lake Beach, Lake Beach. I don't know. I know there's lakes. I don't know if there's beaches. We have a couple of fake beaches, Boulder Beach and Willow Beach in Arizona. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just wondering where there's beach. Oh, I hope you're having a good time dating. I said you're having a better time than I am. <laughs> My time's going okay.
I went to Willow Beach in Arizona. Oh, speaking of Arizona, the rancher that's on trial, the jury came back the end of Friday afternoon telling the judge they were unable to reach a verdict. And he has asked them to return Monday and resume deliberations. So they will be back on Monday for deliberations. Rhonda, thank you for dropping that link. Don't make any purchases there until she releases my new stuff this afternoon. Two other things she is, I only have two sitting here. This, she's releasing this one. And she is, where's the other one? The um, the Northern Sky one is going to be released, and she's releasing this one and this one. So there's going to be four up probably in the next day or so, because she, she, she's been having problems with her internet, so... Tammy says, really, I had a feeling that was going to happen. There's probably someone on, the, on that jury that's deadlocked. Like, someone's just dug in their heels, and they're like, because that, to me, it was open shut. You know, the guy was defending his property, and he was protecting his wife. There's no doubt in my mind that he thought these guys were drug runners. You know, whether they were or not, that's what he thought. He thought that he had to protect himself, so... And yep, you're a glorified babysitter. I told you to you, don't do it. Don't do it anymore because, you know, they're starting to like you. Just so let's throw the kids down at the crafting place on Saturdays and we'll go, we'll go to lunch while she deals with our children. Don't. I'm back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah. I, my internet just 
shut off for no reason. I do not know why that happened. I apologize. Um, but it looks like I'm back. I'm back like a bad penny. You can't get rid of me that easily. What were we talking about? Oh, the guy, uh, the uh, Arizona jury. Yeah, so so they're going to have to come back on Monday and start deliberating again. But I thought it was going to be like an open and shut thing, but it's apparently someone is digging in their heels one way or the other. And they're, you know, I didn't think, I thought that jury would come back so quickly, but this is why you can never predict how a trial is going to go or what's going to happen anyway. Yeah. So back to Tia's problem, Tia, you got to put your foot down with these parents, you know, like, Hey, she said, I couldn't believe the language. I was constantly saying that's not nice or I'm going to tell and behave. Goodness, I was off. Yeah, they thought they could get away with stuff for you. You were probably playing the big sister role and they were just trying to, they were testing your limits, my dear. Don't do it anymore. Just, yeah. Because I did you didn't design that for children. I thought you designed it for adults, but maybe I'm wrong, you know. Maybe you need to put put your foot down about the kids, but it sounds like a, a good time at the beach. You know, I want to go to the fake beach with Tia. <laughs> I got a new bathing suit, by the way. I haven't tried it on yet because I'm like, I can't, I can't bring myself to put it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's probably not going to be a good look, me in a bathing suit, but I'm, yeah, since I've been to Kansas, I'm trying to, oh yeah, I used to go to the pool at the Y. That's a, that's as much swimming as I've done. Tammy says, put a disclaimer, one adult, 18 or older must be accompanied by the child. There you go. If you're going to bring your child, you have to bring yourself. There you go. That's an even better idea. Silver says there's a series of films from the 50s in England called St. Trinian's on all girls school where the only way to behave is badly. Okay. <laughs> there's a new series. It's only on Roku. It's the, the what does it call it? The Sedgwick Chronicles or the, I don't know. I'm going to watch it. I started to watch it and I thought, no, I'm not, I wasn't in the right mood. So, because I want to finish watching the Traders um, Australia. Uh, that's, I'm on, I think I have one more episode left. I'm down to the last episode of that. And then they just put out a new season of The Circle, which I love that show, The Circle. So I got to watch that. So girls have always been badly behaved. I was a good kid. I was never a bad kid. She said, you're right. I designed the program for adults. It's been very successful with the men. I get more men at my craft events, but now the moms show up and drop off their kids and leave. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. The Spiderwick Chronicles. You've seen it? Okay. Is that what it is? Spiderwick? Why did I say Sedgwick? Okay. Spiderwick. Yes. I'm going to start watching that tonight, probably. Because, um, yeah, because I don't do anything on Sunday nights. Well, I do my live. I'll do the, I'll do the, and I got to finish watching Melanie testify. Melanie Boudreaux, or no, what, Melanie Gibbs in the, in the, you know, in the Chad case. Silver says, I love the movie of the Spiderwick Chronicles. What is the series like? I don't know. I just started Watch, I've watched like the first five minutes of it. It's, it's pretty dark so far. Pretty dark. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it or not, but we'll see. You need to watch Apple Never Falls. You know, I was watching episode one and it was so long. I kept thinking, is this a series or a movie? Why is this Why is this episode so long? The first, I, and then I started falling asleep. So I didn't even make it through the first episode, but not because it was a bad or anything. I just, I don't know. It wasn't, it was kind of dragging for me, but um, I could give that another try at least to see if I can get through the first episode. Cause uh, 
I guess mom goes missing or something and they were jumping back and forth in time and yeah, it was weird. So Rhonda says, almost finished the book, then the series. Oh, okay. She said, you were very close. The TV's in my craft room is a Roku, and I just started it on Friday. The Circle, you've got to start watching. They have some new twists. Oh, yes. I love The Circle. I think that is the greatest concept. They put everybody into different hotel rooms, and they only chat with each other through social media. Yeah. And then they vote each other off and some of them are, might be catfish. Some of them might be themselves. You know, it's, it's good. It's a cool show. Hi, Dawn. Apples never fall is awesome. Well, the actors are seem really good in it. All right. I'll keep watching it. I'll keep watching it. Let me get through Australia. I got a, the finale of the UK, Australia traders now they have a new zealand trailers <laughs> there's another trader episode out there that i have to get to series silver's been watching murder mysteries and now i'm catching up on the new the great british sewing bee sewing bee what i don't think we have a, an american format of that but so what's the concept what are they doing uh, this sounds fascinating. The Great British Sewing Bee. I got to look this up. Hold on. What? All right. What is the Great British Sewing Bee? This like sounds like my kind of show. So I got to I got to see here. Amateur sewers compete to impress judges hoping to be crowned Britain's most sensational seamster. It sounds like Project Runway, kind of, sort of. Huh. Each episode has three challenges, the pattern challenge, the transformation challenge, and the made to measure. In the pattern challenge, they are assigned a specific pattern to make. I'd be okay with that part. I could do that. For the transformation challenge, the sewers are given some secondhand clothes, which they have to turn into a creative outfit. I need to watch this. What the heck? Why don't we have a version of this show? This is cool. I was terrible at sewing. I tried. I tr I love sewing. I try. First of all, you buy a pattern that's in your size. It's not your size. <laughs> it's one of three or four sizes. And I would choose the largest size because, you know, I'm big boned. And it would invariably be too small. <laughs> I know you're supposed to measure yourself and do all the I was trying to follow the pattern and the pattern was always too small. Even, yeah. So I'd go up a few sizes, then it would be too big. Like it just, yeah. But I did make a few cute things when I was selling. There's also a pottery throwdown. <laughs> oh no. I like the great British baking thing. Oh my God. That reminds me, my sister, she hands me her phone the other day. She goes, this is the guy that I've been talking to. I'm like, you're talking to a guy? Really? Okay, Jean. So she hands me the phone and the guy's name is Paul Holly, H-O-L-L-Y. I'm like, that's Paul Hollywood. I looked at his picture. She goes, you know him? I'm like, everybody knows Paul Hollywood. He's a famous baker. <laughs> He's a judge on the Great British Baking Show. She goes, well, I've been talking to him. Now, obviously, she knew she knew she wasn't talking to Paul Hollywood, but some guy was writing to her with his with Paul Hollywood's picture, and so she, so she's trying to be, you know, my sister's like setting him up. So he's like, "What do you do? You know, what? How do you spend your day? That kind of thing." She goes, "Well, I used to be a stripper, but I'm retired now." <laughs> oh God, zippers. You know, I wasn't bad at zippers. I didn't like buttonholes. Um, 
yeah, but zip, I tried to avoid zippers too. You're right. Zippers are kind of a pain in the butt. Um, <laughs> but, or a potter's wheel. Wow. Rhonda said, Eric made a felt pumpkin for schools, came with, came up with a pattern, turned out cute. Aw. Oh yeah, Paul, of course he's happily married, but I thought, what a, what a stupid guy. Does he think we'd never seen Paul Hollywood? Well, my sister, she had to look it up. She didn't, had never, she never watched it. She's not into reality television. Like she'll watch The Voice and that's it. Um, right, buttonholes, yeah. Sewing is not as easy as it looks. No, it's not. But, but I've so like for a few years I was I would go to these Renaissance things, you know, and I'd make I made a Renaissance dress and so I I I, I can sew. I just I'm not great at it. I'm really not. Some people are just they're they just have a knack for it. I don't. What is that dog barking at? Tia said, I used to have the worst time with buttonholes. I don't mind zippers. I had to get really good at sleeves. Sleeves? Really? Silver says, I'm on several Pride and Prejudice groups, and there are several fake Colin Firth accounts. It really angers me when it cons gullible people. Yeah, but she, I mean, she realized right away that this guy was conning her, but so she just was like playing with him. I just thought it was hilarious. Um, but but she didn't know Polly. I'm like, that's Paul Hollywood. <laughs> Paul Holly. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Some men that must think we're stupid. Yeah. Some woman's gonna fall for it. You know she is. Deborah says, I don't even try anymore. <laughs> oh, what the sewing. I thought she meant the, the dating thing. Nope. There's my kitty. Come here, Stitch. Kitty, kitty. He'll be, he's coming. Stitch. Anyway, so I'm going to spend the rest of my day working on my cross stitch. And I will be back at 7.30 tonight for game night. Y'all didn't decide what you want me to play, but I'll decide. I don't I don't know what I want to do. Let's see. We could do Minecraft, I suppose. I don't have this on. Hold on. I gotta plug the controllers in. Tia says, I haven't sewed in 10 years with all the discount clothing stores. I feel like, why bother? The kids didn't prefer my handmade creations anymore. Oh, my God. You should. <laughs> when, I was, <laughs> when I was first married, like, I made, I sewed everything. There was one year for Christmas, my ex, my, my husband, we all had matching cowboy shirts. <laughs> my son but who was like one, I don't know, one or two years old. And I had this matching we, three. It was, it was terrible. <laughs> Looking back on it, I'm like, what was I thinking? So I have pictures of the three of us in this matching, in these matching cowboy shirts and fabric prices. Oh my God. Yeah. That's crazy. And it is so much easier. Like just order it from Timu. It's so much easier. Yeah. Just, you get it. You don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> if it's too small. Okay. Whatever. You didn't spend a lot of money. Right. Oh, all right, guys, that's it for me today. Um, thank you for coming. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on your way out. And um, hopefully I'll see you tonight. If not, I will see you tomorrow in crafting and crime daily. Tia. Did you see the new Taylor Swift album? Oh my God, it's fantastic. Check it out. Bye everybody, take care. <laughs>